Welcome to the sketchbook assignment for Ceramics 3 and AP. This is your brand new sketchbook. The first thing you need to do is peel off the label. We don't need it. I also would like you to write your name on the front cover. You can use masking tape that is in the bins on your table or you can use any kind of tape that you have at home. I would like you to use a permanent marker to write your name, not one of the water-based markers that are on your table. I would like you to also open up the front cover and write your name right here in case your tape comes peeled off in the future. Now we have a brand new sketchbook with all this beautiful paper and this can be kind of intimidating. You don't want to mess up this beautiful paper. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to mess it up. Take away that pressure. Just make some lines. They don't have to be anything important. Now you don't have to worry about messing up your sketchbook because you've already messed it up. Now let's get started on our first sketchbook assignment. When we do sketchbook assignments, we are going to use a double page layout, both pages. This is one sketchbook assignment and you need to divide it up into five sections. So this is one section right now. I like di diagonal lines, so I'm gonna draw a line here. Now I have one section, and I'm gonna bring that line all the way over here. So now I have two sections, one, two. A lot of students like to use this spine to divide it up. So I have one big section here, two, three. One, two, three, four. So I need to divide it up one more time like this. Now I have five sections. See how this section comes all the way across? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five different sections to work in. Now there's an infinite, an infinite amount of ways to do this. You don't have to do it the same way every time. You might find that you like diagonal lines like I do, or you might find that you like really straight lines. And I'm going to divide that right here all along the spine. So I have one, two, three, four sections. And then I'm going to, I want to have some big spaces. So I'm going to divide this up here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five spaces. And you can see that those two layouts were done completely different. Um, but I still have five sections to work in. One thing that's also very valuable is if you number those sections um, to go along with the expectations that are on the rubric. And that is how you set up your five sections for your sketchbook assignments.